So I had the chance to play the pre-alpha of the newly announced World War II shooter Resolve. And if you don't know what Resolve is, well, it's a World War II shooter. I believe it's been made by members of the Hell Let Loose competitive scene and probably some other devs. And what I've been told is that in their vision, Resolve is what Hell Let Loose should have been. Now, myself, been playing Hell Let Loose since it released in June 2019. I think it's a really damn good game. I am taking a break from playing it. So it's got a lot to stand up to if they think this is what Hell Let Loose should have been. And I just need to let you guys know this is pre-alpha gameplay. I have no idea how long the game has actually been in development for. It could only be a few months. It could be a year. I don't know, but there will be bugs, issues, and everything you see is subject to change. It all could be unfinished. I don't know. So take this video as initial impressions and for the devs, feedback. So let's start with the map. I'm not sure what the name of the map is, but it is set in Tunisia. And I can say that the geometry of the map is really, really good. I mean, you can see on the gameplay here, all the rocks, the rubble on the ground. It's just, there's just a lot of it there. And we know that's Unreal Engine 5. There's a lot of new tech in Unreal Engine 5 that can make all this possible from the get-go. And we haven't really seen a lot of Unreal Engine 5 games being played yet, or really even been able to get our hands on it. So getting our hands on this with how good the geometry looks is really promising when considering we haven't got like a big AAA Unreal Engine 5 game yet to play. But with it being an early Unreal Engine 5 game and really early in development, the performance was bad. I was playing with Raz Bora, Redco Viking, Sherman and Nano. And we all had performance issues. We were looking at 30 FPS or less with the performance gradually dropping throughout our gameplay session. But like I said, pre-alpha and early development for Unreal Engine 5. While the map was good to actually progress through, we started out on like some outskirts where there was a lot of rocky terrain and some hills. Then we progressed into a village. The village was like a twisty mess. Lots of sort of destroyed buildings. It was kind of all right to fight around, but it did feel like a bit of a, a mess that had just been randomly dropped down, like all the buildings had just been randomly dropped around. Now this could be something that was historically accurate, but for me, it should be changed to make it feel like it flows better when you're trying to fight from building to building. Gameplay over realism, always. And also the map, apart from the odd tree you'd see, it's pretty much just one color throughout the map, which again is probably how it looked, but give us some extra flashes of color instead of just sandy color. I think if this map was in Hell Let Loose, it would probably be considered one of the worst maps in the game. I also need to mention about the map, literally pressing the M button to open your map is the worst map screen I've ever used in any game. What the map is in Resolve is just a zoomed out view that you navigate currently using your movement keys. So when you open up the map, your character will always stand still, you can't move, and there's barely any information on the map. Again, pre-alpha, so it is probably a work in progress, but I really think they should change this to something that is more traditional, like in Hell Let Loose, Postscriptum, Squad, and probably any other first person shooter out there, where you open up your map, and you get a dedicated map, not just a zoomed out view, I think that would be a lot better. And then make it so you can navigate that map using your mouse. So you, when you have that map open, you can actually still run around. Now onto the general gameplay. Now with the movement, it was fine, to be honest. There were some little hitches here and there, but pre-alpha, I'm fine with that. You're probably getting caught on some objects here and there. There is vaulting in the game and vaulting I know it was unfinished, there was no vaulting animation, you sort of just floated up above your object that you were vaulting over, but it's there and it's in progress. Strangely, there's no prone. I had to double check the controls, but there's no prone in this game, which I think they should change as soon as they can. Put prone in there, it needs to be in this sort of game. You can lean, but it's, um, <laughs> it's probably an exaggeration to call it lean, because I'll show you on screen what leaning looks like, and it's barely a change. I didn't use lean at all because I thought there was really no point. It should really change lean so you actually lean over more than you currently do. Like the movement, the gunplay was just 
fine. There was nothing special about it. It kind of felt like a subpar Battlefield game. All of the automatic weapons had low recoil. The bolt actions, I'm pretty sure, were all one hit kill. I'm not sure how many shots it took to kill with the automatic weapons. And I know this is going to be a bug, but some weapons like the STG-44 had the slowest bullet travel ever. And it wasn't lag, like internet lag. It was just an extremely slow bullet travel. We're talking a second or two for your bullets to travel about 10 meters. But like I have said multiple times, it's pre-alpha, expect bugs, and this is a bug. But I didn't notice any bullet drop. It could be because the distances where I was getting kills wasn't enough for bullet drop, but the map was pretty big, so I think they need to put bullet drop in the game if it isn't already. One thing that is really good is that you can pick up all dropped weapons. That's even enemy weapons. So if you're running around with a Lee Enfield bolt action rifle, you kill someone who's carrying an STG or an FG42, you can then pick it up and use it. And I did do that quite often because at the end of the map when we was fighting through the village, I didn't really want to use the Lee Enfield, so grabbing that STG or FG42 was really beneficial. And these weapons, at least at the moment, you get them through different loadouts, but to get those loadouts, you don't unlock them through having an account level. Now, this may change in future, but you get access to them by your squad building up a reserve counter, I think. I think it was called reserve. It's like an ammunition icon. And then you spend that ammunition icon to use one of these extra kits for the British or the Commonwealth. Now for the Commonwealth, you could use the Sten or the Tommy gun. And when you used one of those kits, it would take its value out of your squad's pool. So if you only had enough for one Tommy gun, you would grab a Tommy gun. No one else could grab anything until you built that reserve counter up again. It's a neat little system. I'm not sure how you actually build up the reserve counter and I'm calling it reserve but I'm not sure if that's the actual name for it. I do like this system and if they can build something around squad work to building up that counter it's going to force squads to actually stick together a bit more. There is a headshot sound to resolve but it's just not as good as how let loose or postscriptum and in general gun audio for me was a bit poor or just standard again nothing really special or stand out and yes again it is pre-alpha. Even if you look at Hell Let Loose, they've changed their weapon sounds quite a few times now throughout development. So I expect the same for Resolve. And in this pre-alpha test, there were no vehicles to try, but there will be vehicles in the game. Now, while I have said a lot of negative things about Resolve, I do see the potential there. But I do think it's probably about two years away from an early access release. The game does need a lot of work. And in the indie FPS market, you just cannot afford to have a bad release because it will kill your game. It doesn't matter if it's early access, it needs to be good and really playable, and good performance day one. So to the devs, just keep plugging along, keep getting extra fixes in, keep optimizing things, keep improving the gameplay and generally most of the game. Get some extra maps in because even on the Steam store page, it's just showing one map, which was the map we played. On release, you are going to need really, I think, three maps minimum. I'm not sure how many maps Hell Let Loose launched with, but if you're only going to launch with one or two maps, I think you're going to catch a lot of stick for it. So make sure you have a good amount of maps that are actually good as well. I'll be keeping my eye on Resolve and playing it when I can. So if you're interested in Resolve and you want more information on the development and how the game progresses, subscribe to the channel because that will be coming. And if you like the video, give it a like, dislike if you didn't. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.